Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Hanley. Today I'm using OpenVSP and Stallion 3D to analyze an aircraft. This aircraft I obtained from the OpenVSP hangar. It is the OV-10A aircraft on the hangar. Before I can export this aircraft to Stallion 3D, I would like to have it as an as STL file. I can also enhance the computation by doing a comp geo in OpenVSP before exporting it to an STL file. I can click this to remove all certain surfaces and then I can just go ahead and do the analysis in OpenVSP to trim this geometry. So now it's ready for export into Stallion 3D. I click the file, export or menu, and then I choose STL option, and then I can export the file. The next step is to read the file into Stallion 3D. To do that, I click the design menu, import edit STL file, Click the file menu here, click open, and then look for the STL file. And I can read in, I call it twin tail because it had two, has two tails, or two or vertical tails. And now the file is, will, will be read into Stallion 3D. We see it has about 77,000 facets. We can position the, the geometry in the wind direction in the import file editor. And then we can go to the size and scale. The geometry was created in English units. So what I have to do, I have to change the scale factor to feet just so that we'll have the correct geometry or the correct size. Click OK, and then we can look at the geometry in Stallion 3D. As you notice, there's an extra geometry here in Stallion 3D. This is a default geometry. We can remove this geometry before proceeding with the analysis of Simply we do that by clicking edit surface and uh, delete and the, the, the extra geometry tree would be removed. Before we can do any CFD and get some results, we have to do a couple steps. The first step we can do is to set up the flow field. We are going to set a condition at which this aircraft is going to operate. The angle of attack is going to be two degrees. We can set it here. And also we have to set a reference area and a moment reference length. The reason for doing that is to be able to calculate the coefficients and by setting the profit, proper reference area and length, we could compare our results to published results. So for this aircraft, the reference area is 27.2 square meters and the reference length is 2.23 or meters. We also would like to set the location to the um, center of gravity and I guess about 5.72 to the center of gravity. The weight doesn't matter at this time for the analysis. The second thing that we are going to do is to set up the CFD. We go click, we, see, we click CFD solver, set up CFD solver, and we are going, we will set the mesh to about 960,000 cells. We are going to set the mesh in such a way it's not really the, the cells are not cubes, but rather they're going to have a, a, a spanned a span dimension, which is going to be half, which is going to be twice the dimensions 
of the x and z dimensions. The flow model will use Reynolds average Navier-Stokes. We are going to look at, let it run for 35,000 iterations. We're going to use the dimension settings to set up a computational domain, which is a cube. Minimum x, y, and z are the points of the lower left corner of the cube. That's all that's necessary to define that point and to, and to define the side length of the cube. The boundary conditions are going to be radiation boundary conditions and Stallion 3D will make a restart file in case you know there's something happens over the course of the um, solution and we have to restart. So we're going to update the solution every 1000 iterations and that's all it's required to set up the solution. The next step is to just click the CFD solver and this option generate grid and solve the flow. Stallion 3D will automatically generate the grid and solve the flow. One thing I forgot to mention in the setup process is the addition of actuator disk to simulate prop wash. To add the actuator disk, click flow field, actuator disks, and then you can add a force, the center of rotation of the disk, the direction of rotation, an inner radius, an outer radius, and you could give the disk a name. In addition, we have a second disk. We do the same, give it a 2000 Newton's force. This time it's on the left hand side of the aircraft. And we provide the same as before, the inner radius, outer radius, and disk two. So this is a solution and we can see this is the val this is the pressure. We can see the disks, and we would like to know some aerodynamic information. So we click the aerodynamic data and click the aerodynamic coefficients, and we see for our conditions that we entered, which is uh, which was two degrees angle of attack and one. 100 meters per second flow velocity flow speed we have a lift coefficient of 0.252 uh, we have a pressure drag of 0.0119 we have a skin friction drag coefficient 0.0125 total drag and a lift to drag ratio at 2 degrees at, of 10.34 we also see we have a pitching moment about the CG of point zero, negative point zero one five eight. The software computes a number of different coefficients. We see that it actually generated close to 800,000 cells and the solution actually converged to about at about 14,000 iterations. Stallion 3D also computes the forces, the aerodynamic forces. We see that for those conditions and the settings on the aircraft, we have a lift force of about 9,000 pounds and a drag force of 912 pounds. The force is also given in SI units as well. We can scroll down a bit and we can see the results from the actuated disk. We have the left disk and the right disk have a slightly, have approximately the same, generate approximately the same power, close to 189.5 kilowatts. And the total power is somewhere close to 379 kilowatts.
Note that Stallion 3D does not assume an efficiency of the propellers or the engine. To get a more realistic value for the total power, we will have to multiply 379 kilowatts by maybe 1.2 to 1.3. We could continue to have fun with Stallion 3D by looking at some of the surface graphs. For example, we can look at the pressure coefficient at y equals 4 along the wing. We can also add things like streamlines and we can look at contour plots. We can slice the aircraft using the flow field here and we can look at maybe the grid so we can see the grid about the cross section the center line of the aircraft and there are a number of other things that one can do but mostly um, stallion 3d provides really good values of the lift drag moment coefficients for an aircraft that one can create in a CAD package in, within a reasonable amount of time and in this case I used a laptop computer and the solutions completed in less than 14 hours. This is Dr. Patrick Hanley at Hanley Innovations.